The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. About one in eight women will develop invasive breast cancer over the course of their lifetime. But what if it doesn't show up on a mammogram? In a new story that's gone viral, what started as a small pink and brown rash on one woman's breast has resulted in a fight for her life. It's called inflammatory breast cancer. And Dr. Funk, I would like you to kind of tell the audience and everybody at home what inflammatory breast cancer is. So inflammatory breast cancer is one of the most aggressive and deadliest forms of breast cancer that we diagnose. Thankfully, it's in less than 5% of the cancers diagnosed each year. But what happens is one breast will suddenly, and I mean rapidly within days to weeks, become enlarged and heavy and have like this burning pain sensation in it. Oftentimes you don't feel any lumps at all. Mammogram 10 seconds ago could be completely normal. Which is you, scary. Which is scary, scary because you feel like you're crazy because something's happening and you're telling me my mammogram's fine. Yeah. You're like, it's not fine. Never, never dismiss that intuition. The nipple might turn in. You could feel a lump in your armpit, which would be an involved lymph node. But the telltale sign is what we call poto orange or peel of an orange. The skin lymphatics are actually completely congested with tumor cells. And the hue of the tumor cells and the stuck lymph fluid makes this orange, reddish, brownish color to the skin that's also thicker. And then the pores of your skin are suddenly visible. So just like an orange, you see all the little pits there. If you ever notice this, what would often happen is a doctor will say, mm, either that's a rash or it's an infection or it's mastitis, especially if you're breastfeeding, and they either prescribe a topical steroid cream or antibiotics, thinking it's one of these things, give it three days. If it is not dramatically improved in three days, hightail it to a breast specialist. And, and this is exactly what happened. And you know, doctors should know better. I'm sorry, page 956. Robin's pathologic yeah. basis of disease. That's the problem. It's on Did page you have a favorite book in law school? Was it <laughs> was it was it Pro Prosser and Torts? Do you remember that one? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, I had, this was my favorite <laughs> book. How can you miss Podorowicz? And even if it is not exactly like that orange, you don't take the chance. If there's something like that going on on just the skin of the breast, especially one side. Boom, you have to work that up. And Dr. Funk, I, I know that there's some breast cancers that are more aggressive in African American women. Is this one of those cancers? It absolutely is. So the people who are more likely to have inflammatory breast cancer are African Americans, obese women, and it's a little bit younger in your 55 to 59 year old range, whereas most breast cancer is 61. It's a little bit younger. Um, and it's more likely to be triple negative. This is a subtype of cancer that could care less about estrogen. We always pull out the big guns for inflammatory, meaning first chemotherapy, then modified radical mastectomy, all the lymph nodes in the armpit go, and then after the mastectomy, you radiate all the remaining skin and the lymph node. It's very aggressive. Very aggressive. So we get aggressive. If a mammogram shows nothing, it, but you have a rash, you have some other symptom, how can you get your doctor to escalate that, to give you the referral to the specialist? Because I know from friends of mine and just talking to women, it can be intimidating. When, mm. when the mammogram, when the test is saying there's nothing, but yet you want to go because you, your intuition tells you it may be something, but you have this institution, this facility saying no. How do you break through that and get the care that you need and get to that second opinion? I think you tell them that Dr. Funk, a breast expert, told me <laughs> that I need to hunt this down. And if you don't, Areva Martin's going to come after you. I like that answer. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, you, like it's your right. So it's your right your to go advocate. further. And, You're right, Areva. I, mean, yeah. I mean, it may involve the fight with, you know, it's all about dollars so and Dr. cents. So Dr. Funk analysis. said it, and then call Areva, because I'm going to sue you if you don't give them the test. <laughs> well, I never <laughs> want Areva calling me, so... I, oh, I mean, that, that, that yeah. just may work. And so we've had a little bit of fun with this segment, but in all seriousness, if you feel that something is not right, even though your mammogram was normal, then you do have to just find that doctor that will, you know, make sure your, uh, your concerns are addressed. And in some instances, it may not be invasive breast cancer, but, you know, it's just one of those things. Go with your gut.